Do y'all think more women want to be want to lead or do they want to be led? Do y'all think more women want to lead or they want to be led? Mr. Doctor, we'll start with you. I think um I think deep down inside all women want to be led. But they're afraid, you know what I'm saying? They're afraid to let go of certain power that they think they have or I mean they have power, you know what I'm saying? Cuz there's power in being feminine, you know what I'm saying? Because like you know what I mean? Like we we more like a, a feminine woman could more persuade us to do things more than a woman that is challenging, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, what was it? My fault. What was the question again? Nah, do you think more women want to lead or do they want to be led? Yeah, I think they want to be led, but I think they they it's just they just put up a fight, you know what I'm saying? They just gotta wrestle you a little bit. I don't think that they should re- wrestle you a little bit, but I know for a fact that women want to be led. Cool. Maddie B, what you think, man? You think more women want to be led or they want to lead? I agree, with, I, I agree with what Mr. Doctor was going at with it, because that's the same thing I was going to start off with, that I think a lot of women do want to lead because they haven't seen leadership from a man a lot of times in their household. And a lot of women are around their peers where they just is mentally, like, they're mentally on the same level with a lot of men, so they don't trust a lot of men to lead. So I believe they do want to lead, but when they get around a man that actually is a real leader and can handle them, they they, they find out quickly that they adapt more to that, and that's more of a comfort zone for them. But I think initially most women are going out here trying to lead and because they, they feel it's more comfort them controlling the situation than them not controlling the situation. It's like a lot, of, a lot of things people don't know that's best for them until they actually experience it. Once they get around a certain man, they actually experience it, then they realize, you know what, I don't want that. And a lot of women, they come back to say they was moving incorrect this whole time. They got a man now that can control them, that does calm them down, that isn't as emotionally unstable as them. You know, a man that's emotionally intelligent and can handle them and at the same time get his business accomplished. So that's what I say about that. They do want to lead. And once they find out, once they actually find a man that can lead them, they actually adapt to that and more comforting that, bro. Okay, cool, cool. Smokey, man, what you think about that? Do you think uh, more women today want to be led or they want to lead themselves? Oh, Matt telling facts. I never deny what the fuck Matt talking about. We want nothing more than a man that can lead us. We want nothing more than to feel secure whatever this nigga got planned for us. Like, I don't think a lot of men understand what it really means to fully submit to him. Like to fully submit to you means whatever, you know, and just whatever you think it's supposed to be that I'm supposed to go along with it, you know. So for me to trust you that much, for me to be like, yeah, I know you're gonna have my best interest at heart, no matter what. Like for me to come to that, like, but like me personally, I could do that. So it's like. Um, what are we doing with it? You know, what we doing with your knowledge? What we doing with what you found? Your knowledge you found. What are we doing to make sure that this is turning into money? Make sure this is turning into truth. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that this is turning into what it need to turn into. You know, for me to feel secure. So it's like, you know, one of the things where it's like, do I feel that comfortable? True, true. So, Izzy, what you think? Do, more, do the majority of these women, do they want to be led or do they want to lead themselves? Um, I think they definitely want to be led. After a certain point of leading themselves, you know, um, in terms of, like, uh, family dynamics, in terms of, like, advancing to the next level, they definitely want to be led. Um, you know, and being led, you have to real really look at what a leader is. That th- that means no 50-50. That means no, like, you know, just like, you know, kind of like bullshitting, you know, not really like, you know, dedicating yourself in terms of being transparent in what your plans are and all that good stuff, you know. <laughs> Izzy, I'm sending you heart, girl. <laughs> I'm sending you glitter. 
I'm getting you high thing glitter, girl <laughs> power. No there's no such thing as 50 I appreciate you. There's no such you thing as 50 50. I love you, girl. You look good. Do there's your thing. No, Back your ass up. Do it. There's no <laughs> such thing as. Let me just let me just put you in something. There's no such thing as 50 50. Okay, well, tell your. What do you mean by 50 50? Tell your people that because they want to th- they want to say that there's a 50 50 in everything in terms of money, in terms of splitting dinner bills, in terms of sp- splitting this. everything. Look at this, young lady. 50 50 don't exist because um, you're talking about finances. A relationship is 100 100 because if an intruder break in, we're not going to rock, paper, scissors for who's going to get up to see who, do, who break into our crib. You know what I'm saying? It's like men. We put our life on the line, you know what I'm saying? So you can't say it's like 50 50. It's never a 50 50, you know what I'm saying? It's, there's no such thing. That shit don't even exist. You know I mean? Okay, so you think naturally you guys submit or, you know, you guys do more in the relationship naturally? I don't think that's really true because, yeah, you can say you're protecting, but no, let me know. No. Let me know when you have to give birth. Let me know when you have to. Um, you know, no, no. You're, you're usually like the weaker person in terms of that. Um, we can't be 50 50 because we're not even the same thing. We ain't even got the same roles. We're supposed to be 100 100 all in. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, you're yeah, supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, End the conversation. Yeah. You're supposed to be. Thank you. But that's the same. That's the same thing, though. It's like this. Yeah, I, I was about to say, he's not, he's not saying one is doing anything more than the other. He said that in your in the woman's role, she's supposed to give 100%, and then in the man's role, he's supposed to be giving 100%. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I think I think it's the same thing. I mean, I think it's just it's just different the way people use words. Cause I think 50 50 and 100 100 is pretty much the same thing. No. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I think yeah, I think I think people get caught up in going. Yeah. saying when they say 50 50, they just they really just do like when they say 50 50, yeah. they're using the whole circle as being 100. Exactly percent a pie. And when you say 100, no, when I say 100 100, my fault. When I say 100 100, bro, I mean like um. If your hundred percent is less than mine, it don't matter to me because I'm gonna still give it a hundred percent if my hundred is more than yours. But I just want to know that you all in in this relationship and I'm all in in this relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't mind being the the majority. You know what I'm saying? But I, I when I say a hundred percent, I mean a hundred percent of you. You know what I'm saying? Like she gotta give me a hundred percent. And I'm gonna give her a hundred percent of no, me. I'm, not, I'm gotta... not disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm saying the people that saying 50 50 is pretty much harping on the same point. They just using different language for it. Okay. I, I hate that shit. I don't like the 50 50 because I mean, to me, if you looked at it as we making a team, and it can't people people 200 percent and 110 percent. Most of the things are judged on 100 percent on 100 percent level. So when people saying 50 50, all they saying is we combine it together to make this work. And what, whatever my boy is at, wherever your boy is at, we're both fulfilling those boys and making this, making this partnership work. That's all they really saying. But yeah, what's wrong I, with that? I, I didn't say I agree with it. No, like I'm saying for other people, like what's wrong with that? Like why people make what's that shit for the shit females, though? A lot of females today are using 50-50 to say that we have the same power and saying they should be taking it and saying that they, their leadership role is just as big as the man's leadership role. In a lot of situations, that's not the case. In some situations, I agree that some women are better leaders in a relationship than men. But a lot of times, I believe it should be a man leading the ship. A lot of women use that 50-50 to say that the challenge of men. They use it as a challenging a challenging word when they say that. So that's why a lot of people, men don't like partnerships in the 50-50 today. They feel like that's like saying we equal in power. Well, I don't even think like um, both genders really use 50-50, like, you know, in the same type of way. Like, you know, I feel like women would use 50-50 in terms of like, you know, I'm maybe doing the same thing, maybe not, if not better, or at least attempting to be better in this dynamic that a man usually does, you know, at least you need to give me my respect. Whereas males, you know, or men, you know, they probably would use it, you know, in a dynamic of like, you know, she needs to support me. Like I can be the leader, but I need support. Like whether that's financial support, whether that's emotional support, and that might not be reciprocated. So argue that. (laughs) 